What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Garrett and today is the day for season six. In this video, we're covering the season six trailer and we're dropping in with the season six battle pass uh, trailer right away. Without further ado, let's get right into Fortnite season six darkness rises trailer. Here we go. Ooh, the cube loot lake. No swimming dudes, obviously. No way. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 The cube is underneath the house in Loot Lake. But why? Why is it like that? All right, so let's go over something real quick. First things first, the surrounding area of Loot Lake is still the same. Unfortunately, guys, there's no volcano and there's no lava. We were clickbaited by all the leakers. Not true. It looks like Loot Lake is now just hovering in the air with the cube, but I'm not sure how realistically high it is and if you can build to it or not. This is really crazy. This is really weird, but it's cool. It's a cool weird. On top of that, there seems to be lightning coming from the bottom of the cube into the lake, and I'm not sure what happens if you go into the water now. As you guys can see, it's like lower than it used to be, so we might be able to go into the middle of the lake and something might happen. We're gonna find out very soon. So at a first glance, I gotta say, this season six trailer is super underwhelming. Like, it doesn't, le it, it leaves us with a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. It's just like, okay, so let's hope the next trailer we showcase has a lot more like, wow, <laughs> let's see. All right, next up, we got the Fortnite Battle Pass with all the skins and much more. So without, without further ado, let's get into it. Fortnite Battle Pass Season 6. Ooh, new gliders. Ooh, he's a werewolf. Oh my God. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Pets, all right, the pets we talked about. Okay, dudes. Not bad, not bad. All right, so this is what I'm excited for here. Let's talk about it. First things first, we got three gliders being shown. These gliders look like they all have matching sets to uh, what they're rocking. So we got the, the DJ Llama here. We got like Little Red Riding Hood here with her riding like hood carriage. We got a Dracula female that is or like a vampire that has a bat glider, which is cool. Then moving forward, you have this, I think this is the level 100 skin or the level one skin. I'm not sure just yet, but he can transform from just a normal guy and then to a werewolf, which is super cool. And then behind him is like Little Red Riding Hood, it looks like, which is hunting him for some reason. Not exactly sure, but her pickaxe is super dope. Then we have a closer look at the, I guess, the Llama DJ with a, and it looks like an exclusive pickaxe. It doesn't look like the Slurp pickaxe, which looks pretty dope. And then we have a better look at the Vampire Girl, which I think a lot of girls are really going to like. And there are also new wings coming with her. On top of that, we also have this Giddy Up outfit that I talked about uh, yesterday, where it's actually just a costume. You guys can see that the llama is just like all this right here is just a part of the llama where these are his real legs. So it's just imagine him straight down, like standing normally. And then the rest is just a costume. So it makes it look like he's riding a llama, but in reality, he's not. So that's pretty cool. Then we have a brand new Boogie Bomb skin. I don't know if you guys saw it, but this skin back here, I'm not sure if this is the tomato head skin or this is a mask. And we're going to find out later on in the season, of course, when it comes out. And then, of course, we have the, the tomato being thrown then we have the haunted castle being shown which is crazy cool and this is actually a skin right here we have not seen yet so i'm excited to check out this skin i think this is the like from the back it sort of looks like a, a male version of the vampire but i'm not 100 sure and then flying right in you guys can see a ton of new skins so uh we have a bunch of them dancing a lot of these skins here are the new ones so we got the tomato head one over here 
We have the DJ. We have the Vampire Girl, the Red Riding Hood. This looks like the Werewolf over here. We have the Tier 100 skin or the Tier 1 skin, which is that girl. It might be. I'm not going to lie to you, dudes. I think this might be the Tier 100 skin. I'm not sure because it's customizable. If you guys realize when, when you're coming in, she's just dressed normally. She just has like a white shirt on. And the closer you get, she upgrades. So next up. We got pets, brothers. We got super cool pets. Dragons, dogs, and then a Geico. And they can dance in your backpack. I like that a lot. And then that's it. We've covered most of it. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are too. There'll be more information dropping later today. Um, I quickly want to go over the battle, uh, I guess the patch notes with you guys as well, because there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming. And I want this video to be like your one-stop shop for season six if you're at school or something that covers all the patch notes. So check this out. So First things first, we have the Battle Royale section with weapons and items being added. We now have Shadow Stones. They're consumables typically found around corruption areas of the map. Using a Shadow Stone will apply Shadow Form for a brief period. While in Shadow Form, unable to use weapons, become invisible to enemies when stationary, become more visible and leave a, a shadow trail when moving. Uh, gain increased movement speed, jump height, and fall damage immunity, which means you don't take any of that damage. You also gain a new ability called phase, which can be activated by pressing the fire button. Phase propels you the direction you're facing and allows you to pass through objects. The effect lasts 45 seconds, but can be exited early by holding down alt fire button aim down the sights so you can pretty much face through walls so like if you're like want to go through a house you just left click and you can just go right through the house which is super cool this is definitely something that i sort of talked about in previous videos during season five where i was like hey what if we had like an under like an under like upside down world uh or a dark realm and it turns out this ha is actually true so it came out to be cool um we also have we also see that we have a ton of new vaulted items uh, impulse grenades suppressive machine gun light machine gun bouncers and remote explosives they've all been vaulted which is huge i mean like this is a long list of items to be vaulted and i don't like that bouncers were vaulted but we'll see what happens a lot of movement items were vaulted for some reason they also added a momentum functionality to grapplers which is pretty cool the grappler charges reduced from 15 to 10 10. Double barrel damage has been reduced from 143 to 150 and 114 to 120. Wait, no. It went from 150 to 143 and 120 to 114. Wow, they, they put that wrong. That sounds weird. Uh, and grappler charges were reduced from 15 to 10, dudes. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. We also have a list of the new locations. We have floating island, corrupted areas, cornfields, haunted castles, and the rest we have to find in game. Let's see. Storm circle changes. We also have console. Uh, you can now edit your console buttons. So you can have editable console buttons. So like if you want to like use square only for stairs, you can now do that. Traps can no longer be placed on wire fences. It looks like I don't even know what that means. Move the ATK horn down on D pad to allow for auto run. Uh, they change the storm a lot. So we can look into that in game once we start playing and overall some pretty decent changes to the game as well as replays changed, which is awesome. I like to see that. And then uh, we also some mobile changes and save the world changes so overall some great 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 changes that i'm really happy about let me know in the comment section what you guys think i think it's crazy they vaulted so many items we're gonna see what happens dudes that's that's a lot of vaulting that is a lot of vaulting holy so dudes let me know what you guys think of these changes additions and customizations to the map game and all the new features down below we'll have tons of more videos coming out today so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one this is a quick look at the patch notes all the new uh trailers and so much more i love you dudes and without further ado I'll see you guys in about a few hours with a brand new video, so stay tuned. Turn on the notifications. Holy, it's gonna be a crazy day.